joy. Noun. A feeling of extreme happiness or cheerfulness. Especially related to the acquisition or expectation of something good. Olive. Noun. A tree. Alia europea. Cultivated since ancient times in the Mediterranean for its fruit and the oil obtained from it. Adjective. Of a grayish green color. That of an unripe olive. Brown. Noun. A color like that of chocolate or coffee. Verb. To become brown. Adjective. Having a brown color. Eyeshadow. Noun. Makeup that is applied to the eyelids and below the eyes to give a darker complexion there. Glazier. Noun. One who glazes. A craftsman who works with glass, fitting windows, etc. Save. Noun. In various sports. A block that prevents an opponent from scoring. Verb. To prevent harm or difficulty. Preposition. Except. With the exception of. Conjunction. Unless. Except. Networking. Verb. To interact socially for the purpose of getting connections or personal advancement. Noun. The use of computer networks. K. Noun. A kilobyte, more formally KB or KB. Dressed. Verb. To fit out with the necessary clothing. To clothe. Put clothes on. Something or someone. Adjective. Having been subjected to a preparatory process or treatment. Treated. Prepared. Condition. Noun. A logical clause or phrase that a conditional statement uses. The phrase can either be true or false. Verb. To subject to the process of acclimation. Self. Noun. One individual's personality. Character. Demeanor. Or disposition. Verb. To fertilize by the same individual. To self-fertilize or self-pollinate. Adjective. Having its own or a single nature or character throughout. As in color. Composition. Etc. Without addition or change. Of the same kind. Unmixed. Pronoun. Himself. Herself. Itself. Themselves. That specific. Person mentioned. Primary. Noun. A primary election. A preliminary election to select a political candidate of a political party. Verb. To challenge. An incumbent sitting politician. For their political party's endorsement to run for re-election. Through running a challenger campaign in a primary election. Especially one that is more ideologically extreme. Adjective. First or earliest in a group or series. Addressed. Verb. To prepare oneself. Adjective. Of a piece of mail or other communication. Listed with sufficient routing information to reach a destination. Pediatrician. Noun. A physician who specializes in pediatrics. A children's doctor or baby's doctor. Installer. Noun. One who installs. Crisp. Noun. A thin slice of fried potato eaten as a snack. Verb. To make crisp. Adjective. Of something seen or heard. Sharp. Clearly defined. Scratch. Noun. A disruption. Mark or shallow cut on a surface made by scratching. Verb. To rub a surface with a sharp object. Especially by a living creature to remove itching with nails. Claws. Etc. Adjective. Fur or consisting of preliminary or tentative. Incomplete. Etc. Work. Affecting. Verb. To influence or alter. Verb. To make a show of. To put on a pretense of. To feign. To assume. To make a false display of. Adjective. Producing or causing strong feelings and emotions. Reception. Noun. The act of receiving. Run over. Verb. To exceed the allotted time. Passwords. Noun. A word used to gain admittance or to gain access to information. Watchword. Verb. To protect with a password. Directory. Noun. A list of names. Addresses etc. Of specific classes of people or organizations. Often in alphabetical order or in some classification. Adjective. Containing directions. Instructing. Directorial. Feed. Noun. Food given to. Especially herbivorous. Animals. Verb. 
detransitive, to give, someone or something, food to eat, curtain, noun, a piece of cloth covering a window, bed, etc., to offer privacy and keep out light, verb, to cover, a window, with a curtain, to hang curtains, belong, verb, to have its proper place, blockers, noun, agent noun of block, something that blocks something else, covering, verb, to place something over or upon, as to conceal or protect, active, noun, a person or thing that is acting or capable of acting, adjective, having the power or quality of acting, causing change, communicating action or motion, acting, opposed to passive, that receives, shine, noun, brightness from a source of light, verb, to emit light, description, noun, a sketch or account of anything in words, a portraiture or representation in language, an enumeration of the essential qualities of a thing or species. Eyelash. Noun. One of the hairs which grow along the edge of eyelids. Made. Noun. A grub or maggot. Fairly. Adverb. Manner. In a fair manner. Fair. Not biased or skewed or favoring a certain party. Metadata. Noun. Data that describes other data, serving as an informative label. Reformat. Verb. To format anew or again, generally erasing a previous format. Peanut. Noun. A legume resembling a nut. The fruit of the plant Arachis hypogea. Verb. To pull on somebody's tie as a prank. Causing the knot to tighten. Purse. Noun. A small bag for carrying money. Verb. To press. One's lips. In and together so that they protrude graduated. Verb. To be recognized by a school or university as having completed the requirements of a degree studied. At the institution. Adjective. In steps. Magnifying. Verb. To praise, glorify, someone or something, especially God. Blade. Noun. The sharp cutting edge of a knife. Chisel. Or other tool. A razor blade, sword. Verb. To skate on rollerblades. Noun. A kind of piton used in thin cracks. Retain. Verb. To keep in possession or use. Propeller. Noun. One who, or that which, propels. Illustrator. Noun. A person who draws pictures, especially illustrations in books or magazines. Intention. Noun. The goal or purpose behind a specific action or set of actions. Verb. Intend. Sagas. Noun. An Old Norse. Icelandic. Prose narrative. Especially one dealing with family or social histories and legends. Bake. Noun. The act of cooking food by baking. Verb. With person as subject. To cook. Something. In an oven. Asked. Verb. To request. Information. Or an answer to a question. Penthouse. Noun. An outhouse or other structure. Especially one with a sloping roof. Attached to the outside wall of a building. Sometimes as protection from the weather. Verb. To provide with a penthouse. Shelter by means of a shed sloping from a wall. Or anything similar. Competitors. Noun. A person or organization against whom one is competing. Heartburn. Noun. A burning pain in the chest that is caused by stomach acid entering the gullet. Sagas. Noun. An Old Norse. Icelandic. Prose narrative. Especially one dealing with family or social histories and legends. Seventieth. Noun. The person or thing in the seventieth position. Adjective. The ordinal form of the number seventy. Exhibiting. Verb. To display or show. Something. For others to see. Especially at an exhibition or contest. Coal. Noun. A black rock formed from prehistoric plant remains. Composed largely of carbon and burned as a fuel. Verb. To take on a supply of coal. Usually of steamships. Mortals. Noun. A human. Someone susceptible to death. Delighted. Verb. 
to give delight to, to affect with great pleasure, to please highly, adjective, greatly pleased, open-minded, adjective, willing to consider new and different ideas or opinions, put down, verb, to insult, belittle, or demean, noun, an insult or barb, a snide or demeaning remark, principles, noun, a fundamental assumption or guiding belief, verb, to equip with principles, to establish, or fix, in certain principles, to impress with any tenet or rule of conduct, lens, noun, an object, usually made of glass, that focuses or defocuses the light that passes through it, verb, to film, shoot, convert, noun, a person who has converted to a religion, verb, to transform or change, something, into another form, substance, state, or product, disappointment, noun, a feeling of sadness or frustration when a strongly held expectation is not met, game, noun, a playful or competitive activity, verb, to gamble, adjective, willing to participate, purity, noun, the state or degree of being pure, research, noun, diligent inquiry or examination to seek or revise facts, principles, theories, applications, etc., laborious or continued search after truth, verb, to search or examine with continued care, to seek diligently, lock, noun, something used for fastening, which can only be opened with a key or combination, verb, to become fastened in place, abroad, noun, countries or lands abroad, adverb, beyond the bounds of a country, in foreign countries, preposition, throughout, over, proof, noun, an effort, process, or operation designed to establish or discover a fact or truth, an act of testing, a test, a trial, verb, to proofread, adjective, used in proving or testing, legislation, noun, the act of legislating, preparation and enactment of laws, the laws enacted, mixer, noun, one who, or a device that, mixes or merges things together, chewing, verb, to crush with the teeth by repeated closing and opening of the jaws, done to food to soften it and break it down by the action of saliva before it is swallowed, seat belt, noun, a restraining belt attached to a vehicle seat which is fastened around passengers and which is intended to keep an occupant in place so as to avoid injuries in accidents where the occupant could be thrown against a solid object, poor, noun, with the, those who have little or no possessions or money, taken as a group, adjective, with no or few possessions or money, particularly in relation to contemporaries who do have them, singer, noun, a person who sings, often professionally, b, adjective, having from birth, or as if from birth, a certain quality or character, innate, inherited, overflow, noun, the spillage resultant from overflow, excess, verb, to flow over the brim of, a container, realize, verb, to make real, to convert from the imaginary or fictitious into reality, to bring into real existence, mesmerizing, verb, to exercise mesmerism on, to affect another person, such as to heal or soothe, through the use of animal magnetism, adjective, exercising mesmerism on, spellbinding, enthralling, evocative, adjective, that evokes, brings to mind, a memory, mood, feeling or image, redolent or reminiscent, equality, noun, the fact of being equal, healthier, adjective, enjoying health and vigor of body, mind, or spirit, well, stamp, noun, an act of stamping the foot, paw or hoof, verb, to step quickly and heavily, once or repeatedly, electricity, noun, originally, a property of amber and certain other non-conducting substances to attract lightweight material when rubbed, 
or the cause of this property. Now understood to be a phenomenon caused by the distribution and movement of charged subatomic particles and their interaction with the electromagnetic field. Essay. Noun. Authorship. A written composition of moderate length. Exploring a particular issue or subject. Findings. Noun. A result of research or an investigation. Noun. Small tools and materials used by artisans and craftsmen. Do away with. Verb. To abolish. To put an end to. To eliminate. Program. Noun. A set of structured activities. Verb. To enter a program or other instructions into. A computer or other electronic device. To instruct it to do a particular task. Flexible. Noun. Something that is flexible. Adjective. Capable of being flexed or bent without breaking. Able to be turned or twisted without breaking. Society. Noun. A long-standing group of people sharing cultural aspects such as language. Dress. Norms of behavior and artistic forms. Messes. Noun. A disagreeable mixture or confusion of things. Hence. A situation resulting from blundering or from misunderstanding. Disorder. Verb. Transitive. Often used with up. To make untidy or dirty. Noun. Mass. A church service. Verb. To take meals with a mess. Gel. Noun. A semi-solid to almost solid colloid of a solid and a liquid. Such as jelly. Cheese or opal. Verb. To apply. Cosmetic. Gel to. The hair. Etc. Dependent. Noun. One who relies on another for support. Adjective. Relying upon. Depending upon. Improving. Verb. To make. Something. Better. To increase the value or productivity. Of something. Adjective. That tends to improve someone or something. Especially to educate or morally better a person. Fast. Noun. A train that calls at only some stations it passes between its origin and destination. Typically just the principal stations. Adjective. Firmly or securely fixed in place. Stable. Adverb. In a firm or secure manner. Securely. In such a way as not to be moved. Safe. Sound. Interjection. Short for, stand fast. A warning not to pass between the arrow and the target. Exhausted. Verb. To draw or let out wholly. To drain off completely. Adjective. Very tired. In a state of exhaustion. Addressable. Adjective. Able to be addressed. Decimal. Noun. A number expressed in the base 10 system. A fractional numeral written in this system. Verb. To represent with numbers after a decimal point. Adjective. Concerning numbers expressed in decimal or mathematical calculations performed using decimal. Serious. Adjective. Without humor or expression of happiness. Grave in manner or disposition. Adverb. In a serious manner. Seriously. Downtown. Noun. The main business part of a city or town. Usually located at or near its center. Adjective. Of. Relating to. Or situated in the central business district. Adverb. In or towards the central business district. Ignored. Verb. To deliberately not listen or pay attention to. Dynamic. Noun. A characteristic or manner of an interaction. A behavior. Adjective. Changing. Active. In motion. Railing. Verb. To travel by railway. Verb. To complain violently. Against. About. Verb. Of a liquid. To gush. Flow. Noun. A fence or barrier consisting of one or more horizontal rails and vertical supports. Prefix. Noun. Something placed before another. Verb. To determine beforehand. To set in advance. A. Noun. The name of the Latin script letter A. A. Operational. Adjective, of or relating to operations, especially military operations. Destroyed. Verb. To damage beyond use or repair. Adjective. Particularly of a child. Soiled. 
muddied, especially as a result of a fall or spill. Mean. Verb, to lament. Verb, to intend. Steal. Noun. The act of stealing. Verb, to take illegally, or without the owner's permission. Something owned by someone else. Smother. Verb, to suffocate, stifle, obstruct, more or less completely. The respiration of something or someone. Artwork. Noun. A painting, drawing, sculpture or other piece of creative, visual art. Revive. Verb. To return to life. To become reanimated or reinvigorated. Rice. Noun. Cereal plants. Oriza sativa of the grass family whose seeds are used as food. Verb. To squeeze through a ricer. To mash or make into rice-sized pieces. Especially potatoes. Finish. Noun. An end. The end of anything. Verb. To complete. Something. Officially. Adverb. In an official manner. According to official rules or regulations. End points. Noun. Either of the two points at the ends of a line segment. Magistrate. Noun. A judicial officer with limited authority to administer and enforce the law. A magistrate's court may have jurisdiction in civil or criminal cases. Or both. Dirty. Verb. To make. Something. Dirty. Adjective. Unclean. Covered with or containing unpleasant substances such as dirt or grime. Adverb. In a dirty manner. Encourage. Verb. To mentally support. To motivate, give courage, hope or spirit. Revive. Verb. To return to life. To become reanimated or reinvigorated. Knowledgeable. Noun. A person who has knowledge. An informed party. Adjective. Having knowledge. Especially of a particular subject. Precision. Noun. The state of being precise or exact. Exactness. Adjective. Used for exact or precise measurement. Bottleneck. Noun. The narrow portion that forms the pouring spout of a bottle. The neck of a bottle. Verb. To slow by causing a bottleneck. Square. Noun. A polygon with four sides of equal length and four right angles. An equilateral rectangle. A regular quadrilateral. Verb. To adjust so as to align with or place at a right angle to something else. In particular. Adjective. Shaped like a square. The polygon. Sensitive. Noun. A person with a paranormal sensitivity to something that most cannot perceive. Adjective. Having the faculty of sensation. Pertaining to the senses. Priced. Verb. To determine the monetary value of. An item. To put a price on. Adjective. In combination. Having a price of the kind specified. Happens. Verb. To occur or take place. Pencil. Noun. A paintbrush. Verb. To write. Something. Using a pencil. Planning. Verb. To design. A building. Machine. Etc. Noun. Action of the verb to plan. Hundred. Noun. A hundred dollar bill. Or any other note denominated 100. E.g. a hundred euros. Numeral. A numerical value equal to 100. 102. Occurring after 99. Kangaroo. Noun. A member of the Macropodidae family of large marsupials with strong hind legs for hopping. Native to Australia. Verb. To practice kangaroo care on an infant. To hold a premature infant against the skin. Adjective. Of or relating to Australia. Barked. Verb. To make a short. Loud. Explosive noise with the vocal organs. Set of animals. Especially dogs. Verb. To strip the bark from. To peel. Adjective. In combination. Having the specified kind of bark. Note. Noun. Heading. A symbol or annotation. Verb. To notice with care. To observe. To remark. To heed. Risks. Noun. A possible adverse event or outcome. Verb. To incur risk of. Something. Adult. Noun. A fully grown human or animal. Verb. To. Cause to. 
be or become an adult adjective fully grown soul noun a wooden band or yoke put around the neck of an ox or cow in the stall gets noun offspring verb detransitive to obtain to acquire noun a git preacher noun someone who preaches a worldview philosophy or religion especially someone who preaches the gospel a clergyman logical adjective in agreement with the principles of logic neither adverb similarly not pronoun not either one of two conjunction not either used with nor failures noun state or condition of not meeting a desirable or intended objective opposite of success secret noun a piece of knowledge that is hidden and intended to be kept hidden verb to make or keep secret adjective being or kept hidden pantry noun a small room closet or cabinet usually located in or near the kitchen dedicated to shelf stable food storage and or storing kitchenware like a larder but smaller met verb to make contact with while in proximity magnifying verb to praise glorify someone or something especially god g noun a gangster gangsta noun games the statistic reporting the number of games that a player has participated in noun a photograph or video shared on this service noun a unit of gravitational acceleration noun grammar noun case used to express some relationship such as possession or origin it corresponds roughly to the english preposition of and the suffix s noun a unit of mass equal to one thousandth of a kilogram symbol g noun a leguminous plant grown for its seeds especially the chickpea noun grandmother health care noun the prevention treatment and management of illness or the preservation of mental and physical well-being through the services offered by the medical nursing and allied health professions ranked verb to place abreast or in a line bug noun an insect of the order hemiptera the true bugs verb to annoy noun a microfossil particularly a foraminiferin by noun a flying insect of the clade anthophila within the hymenopteran superfamily apoidea known for its organized societies though only a minority have them for collecting pollen and in some species producing wax and honey noun a contest especially for spelling see spelling bee noun a ring or torque a bracelet noun the name of the latin script letter b noun usually in the plural any of the pieces of hard wood bolted to the sides of the bowsprit to reeve the four topmast stays through adjective out of the way subsidiary adverb along a path which runs past the speaker preposition near or next to noun the position of a person or team in a tournament or competition who draws no opponent in a particular round so advances to the next round unopposed or is awarded points for a win in a league table also the phantom opponent of such a person or team interjection goodbye annoy noun a feeling of discomfort or vexation caused by what one dislikes verb to disturb or irritate especially by continued or repeated acts to bother with unpleasant deeds dehumidifier noun a device for removing the moisture content from air carving verb to cut noun a carved object perceived verb to become aware of through the physical senses or by thinking to see to understand adjective generally recognized to be true members noun one who officially belongs to a group newsletter noun a periodically sent publication containing current events or the like generally on a particular topic or geared toward a limited audience rates noun 
the worth of something, value, verb, to assign or be assigned a particular rank or level, verb, to berate, scold, noun, British, New Zealand, or Australian, taxes, usually on property, levied by local government, shoemaker, noun, a person who makes shoes, air, noun, the substance constituting Earth's atmosphere, particularly, verb, to bring, something, into contact with the air, so as to freshen or dry it, reasonable, adjective, having the faculty of reason, rational, reasoning, immense, noun, immense extent or expanse, immensity, adjective, huge, gigantic, very large, brown, noun, a color like that of chocolate or coffee, verb, to become brown, adjective, having a brown color, proud, adjective, feeling honored, by something, feeling happy or satisfied about an event or fact, gratified, flowers, noun, a colorful, conspicuous structure associated with angiosperms, frequently scented and attracting various insects, and which may or may not be used for sexual reproduction, verb, to put forth blooms, noun, something that flows, such as a river, pen knife, noun, originally a small utility knife for cutting the points of quill feathers or reeds into nibs to provide or repair writing implements in times before pens with artificial nibs, generally metal, became commercially available in the 19th century. Early versions of pen knives commonly were small sheath knives. Resistant. Noun. A person who resists. Especially a member of a resistance movement. Adjective. Which makes resistance or offers opposition. Lanes. Noun. Used in street names, a road, street, or similar thoroughfare. Aunt. Noun. The sister or sister-in-law of one's parent. Painter. Noun, an artist who paints pictures. Occasionally. Adverb, on the occasion of something else happening. Incidentally, by the way. Mini. Adjective, miniature, tiny, small. Easily. Adverb, comfortably, without discomfort or anxiety. Cluster. Noun, a group or bunch of several discrete items that are close to each other. Verb. To form a cluster or group. Fulfillment. Noun. The act of fulfilling. Disgust. Verb. To converse or debate concerning a particular topic. Manger. Noun. A trough for animals to eat from. Garden. Noun. An outdoor area containing one or more types of plants. Usually plants grown for food or ornamental purposes. Verb. To grow plants in a garden. To create or maintain a garden. Adjective. Common. Ordinary. Domesticated. Optician. Noun. A person who makes or dispenses lenses, spectacles. Discourse. Noun. Verbal exchange. Conversation. Verb. To engage in discussion or conversation. To converse. Comfortable. Noun. A stuffed or quilted coverlet for a bed. A comforter. Adjective. Providing physical comfort and ease. Agreeable. Impulse. Noun. A thrust. A push. A sudden force that impels. Verb. To impel. To incite. Focus. Noun. A point at which reflected or refracted rays of light converge. Verb. Followed by on or upon. To concentrate one's attention. Minority. Noun. The state of being a minor. Youth. The period of a person's life prior to reaching adulthood. Adjective. Of or relating to a minority. Honest. Verb. To adorn or grace. To honor. To make becoming. Appropriate. Or honorable. Adjective. Of a person or institution. Scrupulous with regard to telling the truth. Not given to swindling. Lying. Or fraud. Upright. Adverb. Honestly. Really. Images. Noun. An optical or other representation of a real object. A graphic. A picture. Verb. To represent by an image or symbol. To portray. 
couriers. Noun. A person who looks after and guides tourists. Verb. To deliver by courier. 60. Numeral. The cardinal number occurring after 59 and before 61. Represented in Roman numerals as LX and in Arabic numerals as 60. Clicks. Noun. A brief. Sharp. Not particularly loud. Relatively high-pitched sound produced by the impact of something small and hard against something hard, such as by the operation of a switch, a lock or a latch, or a finger pressed against the thumb and then released to strike the hand. Verb. To cause to make a click. To operate. A switch. Etc. So that it makes a click. Noun. A detent. Paul. Or ratchet. Such as that which catches the cogs of a ratchet wheel to prevent backward motion. Verb. To snatch. Noun. A kilometer. Ranges. Noun. A line or series of mountains. Buildings. Etc. Verb. To travel over. An area. Etc. To roam. Wander. Fourth. Noun. Not used in the plural. The person or thing in the fourth position. Adjective. The ordinal form of the number four. Hector. Noun. Sometimes in the form Hector. A blustering. Noisy. Turbulent fellow. A blusterer. Bully. Verb. To dominate or intimidate in a blustering way. To bully. To domineer. Five. Noun. The digit. Figure five. Numeral. A numerical value equal to five. The number following four and preceding six. Fired. Verb. To set. Something. Often a building. On fire. Adjective. Dismissed. Let go from a job. Aid. Noun. An assistant. House. Noun. A structure built or serving as an abode of human beings. Club. Noun. An association of members joining together for some common purpose. Especially sports or recreation. Verb. To hit with a club. Retreat. Noun. The act of pulling back or withdrawing. As from something dangerous. Or unpleasant. Verb. To withdraw from a position. Go back. Prepares. Verb. To make ready for a specific future purpose. To set up. To assemble or equip. Expression. Noun. The action of expressing thoughts, ideas, feelings, etc. Code. Noun. A short symbol. Often with little relation to the item it represents. Verb. To write software programs. Infrared. Noun. Electromagnetic radiation of a wavelength longer than visible light. But shorter than microwave radiation. Having a wavelength between 700 nanometers and 1 millimeter. Adjective. Having the wavelength in the infrared. Integrated. Verb. To form into one whole. To make entire. To complete. To renew. To restore. To perfect. Adjective. Composed and coordinated to form a whole. Recreational. Adjective. For, or relating to, recreation. Blockbuster. Noun. A high explosive bomb used for the purposes of demolishing extensive areas. Such as a city block. Laid. Adjective. Of paper. Marked with parallel lines. As if ribbed. From wires in the mold. Verb. To place down in a position of rest. Or in a horizontal position. Verb. To don or put on. To fill in. Phylacteries. Functionality. Noun. The ability to perform a task or function. That set of functions that something is able or equipped to perform. Indexing. Verb. To arrange an index for something. Especially a long text. Noun. A system used to assign indexes. Compatibility. Noun. The state of being compatible. In which two or more things are able to exist or work together in combination without problems or conflict. Into. Preposition. To or towards the inside of. Emails. Noun. A system for transferring messages from one computer to another. Usually through a network. Verb. To send an email or emails to. Noun. Enamel. Himself. 
pronoun reflexive pronoun him the male object of a verb or preposition that also appears as the subject apartments noun a complete domicile occupying only part of a building especially one for rent a flat hiding verb to put something in a place where it will be harder to discover or out of sight verb to beat with a whip made from hide noun a state of concealment checked verb to inspect to examine verb to mark with a check pattern adjective having a pattern of checks checkered sausages noun a food made of ground meat or meat substitute and seasoning packed in a section of the animal's intestine or in a similarly cylindrical shaped synthetic casing a length of this food food noun any solid substance that can be consumed by living organisms especially by eating in order to sustain life heal noun a spell or ability that restores hit points or removes a status ailment verb to make better from a disease wound etc to revive or cure acid noun a sour substance adjective sour sharp or biting to the taste tart having the taste of vinegar defense noun the action of defending or protecting from attack danger or injury neighbor noun a person living on adjacent or nearby land a person situated adjacently or nearby anything of the same type of thing as the subject in an adjacent or nearby position verb to be adjacent to steel noun an artificial metal produced from iron harder and more elastic than elemental iron used figuratively as a symbol of hardness verb to edge cover or point with steel adjective made of steel chart noun a map verb to draw a chart or map of bookstore noun a store where books are bought and sold abuse noun improper treatment or usage application to a wrong or bad purpose an unjust corrupt or wrongful practice or custom hides verb to put something in a place where it will be harder to discover or out of sight noun the skin of an animal verb to beat with a whip made from hide noun a unit of land and tax assessment of varying size originally as intended to support one household with dependents collision noun an instance of colliding noun an error caused by two source code elements such as variables or functions having the same name as each other eight verb to ingest to be ingested muscle noun a contractile form of tissue which animals use to affect movement verb to use force to make progress especially physical force engineer noun a person who is qualified or professionally engaged in any branch of engineering verb to design construct or manage something as an engineer organizer noun a person who arranges the details of a public event costs verb to incur a charge of to require payment of a specified price noun amount of money time etc that is required or used noun manner way means available course contrivance noun a rib a side pointed verb to extend the index finger in the direction of something in order to show where it is or to draw attention to it verb to a point adjective sharp barbed not dull aviator noun an aircraft pilot the use of the word may imply claims of superior airmanship as in navy aviator versus air force pilot niches noun a cavity hollow or recess generally within the thickness of a wall for a statue bust or other erect ornament hence any similar position literal or figurative expertise noun 
great skill or knowledge in a particular field or hobby. Fundamentals. Noun. Usually in the plural. A leading or primary principle. Rule. Law. Or article. Which serves as the groundwork of a system. An essential part. Noun. The fundamental analysis data. Section. Noun. A cutting. A part cut out from the rest of something. Verb. To cut. Divide or separate into pieces. Reflect. Verb. To bend back, light, etc., from a surface. Identify. Verb. To establish the identity of someone or something. Compose. Verb. To make something by merging parts. Remain. Noun. Chiefly in the plural. That which is left. Relic. Remainder. Verb. To stay behind while others withdraw. To be left after others have been removed or destroyed. To be left after a number or quantity has been subtracted or cut off. To be left is not included or comprised. Alley. Noun. A narrow street or passageway. Especially one through the middle of a block giving access to the rear of lots or buildings. Mosque. Noun. A place of worship for Muslims, often having at least one minaret. A masjid. Clicks. Noun. A brief. Sharp. Not particularly loud. Relatively high-pitched sound produced by the impact of something small and hard against something. Hard. Such as by the operation of a switch. A lock or a latch. Or a finger pressed against the thumb and then released to strike the hand. Verb. To cause to make a click. To operate. A switch. Etc. So that it makes a click. Noun. A detent. Paul. Or ratchet. Such as that which catches the cogs of a ratchet wheel to prevent backward motion. Verb. To snatch. Noun. A kilometer. Relaxation. Noun. The act of relaxing or the state of being relaxed. The opposite of stress or tension. The aim of recreation and leisure activities. Edit. Noun. A change to the text of a document. Verb. To change a text, or a document. History. Noun. The aggregate of past events. Verb. To narrate or record. Distributions. Noun. An act of distributing or state of being distributed. Ourselves. Pronoun. Reflexive pronoun. Us. The group including the speaker as the object of a verb or preposition when that group also is the subject. Inhibitory. Adjective. That inhibits. Buyer. Noun. A person who makes one or more purchases. Definitions. Noun. A statement of the meaning of a word or word group or a sign or symbol. Dictionary definitions. Norm. Noun. That which is normal or typical. Ill. Noun. Often pluralized. Trouble. Distress. Misfortune. Adversity. Adjective. Evil. Wicked. Of people. Adverb. Not well. Imperfectly. Badly. Hardly. Centrally. Adverb. Location. In a central manner or situation. At, to, through or from the center. Punctuation. Noun. A set of symbols and marks which are used to clarify meaning in text by separating strings of words. Into clauses. Phrases and sentences. Industrialist. Noun. A person involved in the ownership or management of an industrial enterprise. Florist. Noun. A person who sells flowers. Interviews. Noun. An official face-to-face -face meeting of monarchs or other important figures. Verb. To ask questions of. Somebody. To have an interview. Breakthrough. Noun. An advance through and past enemy lines. Adjective. Characterized by major progress or overcoming some obstacle. Excuse. Noun. Explanation designed to avoid or alleviate guilt or negative judgment. A plea offered in extenuation of a fault. Verb. To forgive. To pardon. Enthusiastic. Adjective. With zealous fervor. Excited. Motivated. Postponed. Verb. To delay or put off an event. Appointment etc. Adjective. Done later than originally planned. Delayed. 
lighter adjective having light bright clear not dark or obscure adjective having little or relatively little actual weight not cumbrous or unwieldy muttering verb to utter words especially complaints or angry expressions indistinctly or with a low voice and lips partly closed to say under one's breath noun something that is muttered celebrated verb to extol or honor in a solemn manner adjective famous or widely praised architect noun a professional who designs buildings or other structures or who prepares plans and superintends construction verb to design plan or orchestrate revolutionized verb to radically or significantly change as in a revolution rubbish noun refuse waste garbage junk trash verb to criticize to denigrate to denounce to disparage adjective exceedingly bad awful interjection used to express that something is exceedingly bad awful or terrible dare noun a challenge to prove courage verb to have enough courage to do something inspector noun a person employed to inspect something dependencies noun a state of dependence a refusal to exercise initiative placed verb to put an object or person in a specific location abroad noun countries or lands abroad adverb beyond the bounds of a country in foreign countries preposition throughout over band noun a strip of material used for strengthening or coupling verb to fasten with a band middle noun a center midpoint verb to take a middle view of adjective located in the middle in between impressive adjective making or tending to make a positive impression having power to impress decorate verb to furnish with decorations spends noun amount of money spent during a period expenditure verb to pay out money decrease noun an amount by which a quantity is decreased verb of a quantity to become smaller pens noun an enclosure enclosed area used to contain domesticated animals especially sheep or cattle verb to enclose in a pen noun a tool originally made from a feather but now usually a small tubular instrument containing ink used to write or make marks verb to write an article a book etc noun a female swan noun penalty noun in the united kingdom and ireland a copper coin worth one two hundred fortieth of a pound sterling or irish pound before decimalization abbreviation d fruits noun often in the plural in general a product of plant growth useful to man or animals verb to produce fruit seeds or spores arm noun the portion of the upper human appendage from the shoulder to the wrist and sometimes including the hand verb to take by the arm to take up in one's arms disco noun a genre of dance music that was popular in the 1970s characterized by elements of soul music with a strong latin american beat and often accompanied by pulsating lights verb to dance disco style dances noun slightly obsolete a nightclub where dancing takes place pager noun a wireless telecommunications device that receives text or voice messages necklace noun an article of jewelry that is worn around the neck most often made of a string of precious metal pearls gems beads or shells and sometimes having a pendant attached verb to informally execute by necklacing by setting on fire a petrol filled rubber tire which has been put around the bound victim's neck cluster noun a group or bunch of several discrete items that are close to each other verb 
to form a cluster or group. Lock. Noun. Something used for fastening, which can only be opened with a key or combination. Verb. To become fastened in place. Fleet. Noun. A group of vessels or vehicles. Piano. Noun. A percussive keyboard musical instrument. Usually ranging over seven octaves. With white and black colored keys. Played by pressing these keys. Causing hammers to strike strings. Adjective. Soft. Quiet. Congressman. Noun. A male member of Congress. Staff. Noun. Plural staffs or staves. A long. Straight. Thick wooden rod or stick. Especially one used to assist in walking. Verb. To supply. A business. Volunteer organization. Etc. With employees or staff members. Silence. Noun. The absence of any sound. Verb. To make. Someone or something. Silent. Interjection. Be silent. Honeymoon. Noun. The period of time immediately following a marriage. Verb. To have a honeymoon. A trip taken by a couple after wedding. Half. Noun. One of two usually roughly equal parts into which anything may be divided. Are considered as divided. Verb. To have. Adjective. Consisting of a half. One half. Fifty percent. Adverb. In two equal parts or to an equal degree. Preposition. A half hour after. Thirty minutes after. Used with the number of the hour. Declarations. Noun. A written or oral indication of a fact, opinion, or belief. Courier. Noun. A person who looks after and guides tourists. Verb. To deliver by courier. Lobster. Noun. A crustacean of the nephropody family. Dark green or blue-black in color turning bright red when cooked. With a hard shell and claws. Which is used as a seafood. Verb. To fish for lobsters. Adjective. Red colored. Especially from a sunburn. Insulation. Noun. The act of insulating. Detachment from other objects. Isolation. Printed. Verb. To produce one or more copies of a text or image on a surface. Especially by machine. Often used without or off. Print out. Print off. Adjective. Written or published. Spouse. Noun. A person in a marriage or marital relationship. Verb. To wed. To a spouse.